With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So let's see this question. In this question, it is given calculate the pH, HS minus, S2 minus concentration, Cl minus concentration in a solution in which 0.1 molar HCl and 0.1 molar H2S given that Ka1 of H2S is 10 to the power minus 7, Ka2 is 10 to the power minus 14. Also calculate the degree of dissociation of H2S and HS minus in solution. So first of all we will see the uh, dissociation part that HCl. HCl goes under complete dissociation to give you H plus plus Cl minus. Now we know very well that HCl is a strong acid. The initial concentration is 0.100. So our final the concentration will be 0.1 and here also 0.1. So what you will say that the concentration of H plus in the solution, concentration of H plus in the solution will be 0.1 molar. Why it is 0.1 molar? Because H2S will not contribute or will not contribute to the concentration of H plus because it's negligible. Uh, uh, since HCl is a stronger acid HCl is a stronger mineral acid you can say mineral acid you can say so concentration of H plus concentration of H plus will be negligible negligible for H2S so for H2S the concentration of H plus will be negligible from H2S just uh, HCl is a stronger acid so you will say that HCl will only contribute to the H plus concentration, right? H plus concentration. Now, let's see the next part. That what was asked, you were asked that what is the pH. So, pH will be minus log of H plus. So, you have the concentration of H plus as 0 0.1. So, you will write 0 0.1. So, you can say very well that it's 1, right? So, the pH will be equals to 1. This is the required answer for the first part which was asked. Since H2S will not contribute towards the H plus ion concentration because HCl is a stronger acid and th that's why it will take over, it will only uh, contribute to the H plus concentration, right? Now, next is that uh, the next part which was said that let's see the dissociation of H2S. So, H2S undergoes dissociation in two steps. First is this Ka1 where H plus plus hs minus and finally then again hs minus will dissociate that is ka2 you can say to give you h plus plus s2 minus this is the two step dissociation of uh, h2s now here this h plus which is formed they are having negligible concentration to the solution because uh, it is a, a weak uh, you can say it's a weak acid right in in uh, compared to hcl now now here what you are going to see that you will write the expression of K1. Expression of K1 will be what? H plus into HS minus divided by concentration of H2S. This is the K1 and K2 will be equals to H plus into H2 minus concentration whole divided by HS minus concentration. Now if you will see the first reaction that is H2S on dissociation giving you H plus plus HS minus in presence of Ka1. So what was the initial concentration of H2S given? It was 0 0.1. That was only given 0 0.1. So if you will say it's initially it's 0. 0. Now if, let's say alpha 1 is degree of dissociation, degree of dissociation of H2S, right? Of H2S. Then at time you can say at some time t equal to t, what you can say 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1 alpha 1 that will be 0 0.1 alpha 1 and 0 0.1 alpha 1 this is how it will dissociate c minus c alpha 1 that is c alpha 1 and c alpha 1 this is the way you dissociate now what alpha is what degree of dissociation so from here when you will write the expression of k1 when you will write the expression of k1 it will be what 0 0.1 alpha 1 but are you going to consider this concentration of h plus no because already we have seen the concentration of h plus will always be equals to 0 0.1 molar irrespective of the other contributions. So you will say that it will be 0 0.1 because HCl is a stronger acid it will only contribute. So 0 0.1 alpha into 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1 alpha. So from here what you will get, you will get the value as 
अल्फा वन इंटू जीरो पॉइंट वन होल डिवाइडेड बाई वन माइनस अल्फा वन दिस इज अल्फा वन राइट दिस इज दैल्यू विच विल बी इक्वल्स टू के ए वन नाउ now it's very important to see that the value of alpha 1 will be very very smaller than 1 this you must say as alpha 1 is very very smaller than 1 you will consider this 1 minus alpha 1 as 1 we take it you know very well we take this uh, uh, this 1 minus alpha 1 as 1 and that is equals to k1 so since alpha 1 is very very smaller or negligible in compared to 1 so finally from here you will get the value of alpha 1 as equals to k1 divided by 0.1 and k1 was given to us as 10 to the power minus 7 so it will be 10 to the power minus 7 whole divided by 0.1 which will come out to be 10 to the power minus 6 so this is the value of alpha 1 so from here you can easily say what is the concentration of hs minus so hs minus will be how much this was hs minus 0. 1 into alpha 1. This was only H S minus, so you will say 0.1 into alpha 1, which is 0.1 into 10 to the power minus 6, or it will come out to be what uh, 10 to the power minus 7, right? This will be the value of uh, you will say H S minus concentration. Now you have find out the concentration of H S minus. You have find out the pH. You have find out the concentration of H plus pH. And we have also find out the concentration of Cl minus. Cl minus will be how much? Cl minus will be because complete dissociation has occurred here. Cl minus will be 0.1 molar. Here you will see the complete dissociation in case of HCl, which is a stronger acid. So the concentration of Cl minus we have find out. We have find out concentration of HS minus. We have find out concentration of pH. Uh, we have find out the uh, pH also, and we have even find out the degree of dissociation alpha one also for H2S, which was asked. Alpha one. That is degree of dissociation of H two S, which is ten to the power minus six. So we have find out this also. We have find out the H S minus. What is left now? You need to answer what is H two minus concentration. Only this is left, and then alpha two is left. That is degree of dissociation of degree of dissociation of H S minus. So this degree of dissociation is left, and this concentration is left. So that will you can easily guess now that you that will be that we will be able to find out from the second step of the equation. Where we write like this, H S minus with K two gives you H plus plus S two minus. This was the equation. So now let's see the change in concentration. So what will be the concentration of H S minus? We have just calculated it is ten to the power minus seven. So it is ten to the power minus seven. This is uh, initially you can say it will be zero point one. The concentration of H plus will be zero point one, and the S two minus we have initially at time t equals to zero is zero. Now what we will say ten to the power minus seven minus ten to the power minus seven into alpha two. We write down. C minus C alpha. This is how the change in concentration takes place. So similarly, here alpha two will be degree of dissociation of dissociation of H S minus. Right. So let's see what will be the H plus. H plus will remain constant zero point one as uh, from H C L. And uh, what will be S two minus? S two minus will be ten to the power minus seven into alpha two. This is S two minus. Now what you are going to say? You are going to write K two is equals to We have already seen H2 minus into H plus means 10 to the power minus 7 alpha 2 into H plus. It is 0.1 whole divided by 10 to the power minus 7 into 1 minus alpha 2. So from here you can see very well that 10 to the power minus 7, 10 to the power minus 7 will cancel out, and finally K2 will be equals to 0.1 into alpha 2 divided by 1 minus alpha 2. Again you will see that this 1 minus alpha 2. Yeah, alpha two is very very smaller. As alpha two is very very smaller than one, the degree of dissociation. Then what we are going to say that K two that will be equals to zero point one into alpha two. So from here you will get the value of alpha two as K two by zero point one, which will be ten to the power minus fourteen by zero point one. Right? Ten to the power minus fourteen was the value. So ten to the power minus fourteen divided by zero point one, minus fourteen divided by zero point one, which you will get as 10 to the power minus 13. This is the value which you will get, right? 10 to the power minus 13. This is alpha 2 degree of dissociation in the second case. Now, what was asked? You were asked that what is concentration of S2 minus? So, concentration of S2 minus will be 10 to the power minus 7 into alpha 2. You have just now seen here that concentration of S2 minus is 10 to the power minus 7 into alpha 2. So, you will write that it is 10 to the power minus 7 into what is alpha 2? 10 to the power minus 13. So, from here, what you will get? The value of S two minus concentration will be equals to 
13 plus 7 that is 20 so 10 to the power minus 20 molar this is the concentration of this is the concentration of s2 minus 10 to the power minus 20 so we have seen every uh, each and every concentration which was asked in the question so from here if you begin then h plus will be 0 0.1 then uh, cl minus will be 0 0.1 then uh, uh, you will say that hs minus concentration was uh, 10 to the power minus 7 and this uh, s2 minus concentration will be s2 minus concentration will be how much 10 to the power minus 20 molar right all these are molar so these are the uh, complete uh, concentrations which you will get from the so this is how we will write i hope you have understood thank you very much for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today